Hey, my name is Harley Wallen. I am a filmmaker and a director from uh, Sweden, currently residing in Michigan. Um, looking forward to sharing some with you guys. Uh, I started filmmaking in all truth because uh, at the time in Michigan, uh, the film incentives have been uh, essentially uh, killed by the state. And uh, I had just kind of gotten started uh, getting some roles in some bigger films. And the indie circuit in Michigan was not all that. And I wanted to make sure that films coming out of Michigan uh, would have some of the very, very talented Michigan actors in it. And uh, I wanted something to come out of here that wasn't just Hollywood. So that was my main motivation. And uh, I was sitting on a film set with uh, uh, my co-star, Walbert Beltran, and uh, we decided to put our names in the hat. And I went home, I talked to my wife, uh, who is, you know, one of my business partners in uh, in this whole filmmaking en endeavor. And, uh, and she agreed that it was time and it was our time to do something. Uh, wild decision we made about four and a half years ago um, that we still look at and say, wow, we did that. Um, my very first film project uh, on my own, so to speak, with our team, uh, you know, being uh, the creators, was a short film called Broken. Uh, there's a, a, a click on Detroit uh, film challenge in Michigan that uh, the winner goes to uh, Sundance Film Festival and you get a fair amount of accolades. And uh, we entered that with our very first short film. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we had a pretty good run with it, but we didn't quite, uh, didn't quite get there. But uh, it was a good first try for us. I think filmmaking is one of them things that uh, you have no idea what you're in for. Uh, until you get started and I think you think you know a whole lot more about it uh, until you take your first stab at it and then you realize how much there's to it as a matter of fact the deeper you get into it uh, the more uh, you realize how little you you know uh, even if you're on a quest for learning uh, all the time I have been acting since uh, I was on a syndicated TV show in Sweden, um, God almighty, like 30 years ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's almost 30 years ago. But I, I did that first. That was my, uh, my very first opportunity to get on a show, nationally syndicated TV show, comedy. Uh, and it was, uh, was kind of like a cabaret style show. And I was actually there to be a, a, a break dancer, and uh, and uh, and uh, every now and then they needed somebody to 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 do a line and, and go up and and buy sun tanning lotion or something from the store in the in the sketch, and they would have one of us do it, and you hang out with the actors and and you see what they do and the process that they have. It's 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 a lot of fun, and I got bit right away. Right now, I am working on a TV series that is called Tale of Tales. It is an absolute riot that you should be seeing on Amazon Prime this uh, late fall, early winter. Uh, fantastic story. Um, it's been a while since I played the lead in anything, uh, but I'm one of the leads in this TV series. Uh, and it's a blast. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I don't want to give up too much. Uh, it takes place primarily uh, uh, at a strip club and it takes place at uh, um, a police headquarters and, and their investigation into uh, uh, my strip club. Uh, so it's a blast. Uh, the other two things that's going on right now is uh, we just completed our sequel to uh, our, our film Bennett's Song. We have a, a new film coming out called A Bennett's Song Holiday. And uh, that one is completing right now. And we're talking to distributors about uh, when and where that will come out. Uh, we're anticipating probably 
um, some form of limited theatrical in November, but uh, uh, I will share as soon as I have details on that. Uh, the other thing that we're in the middle of is our second shot at a horror film, very different than, than Agramon's Gate, uh, uh, much more of a story of urban legends and, and, uh, and, and violence and, uh, and crazy um, and, uh, and uh, a really wild ride. Uh, it's called Ash and Bone, and we're in post-production. Currently, we have a rough cut that's, in my opinion, incredible. Um, and I'm really looking forward to testing it, especially with Agramon's Gate doing as well as it is already. Ooh, that's a good question. You know, I think uh, I think to stay a student uh, forever, I think that is very, very important. Uh, when you're looking at technology, how it's changing, uh, uh, shooting and how it's changing and what we're capable of doing, if you are too set in your ways, I think it's very easy to be left behind. Um, and I also think, uh, you know, it's very good to start as an actor first because you're dealing with... Um, being used to saying no and uh, I think that's one of them things that a lot of people don't get used to is hearing the word no um, but I think it's important as a filmmaker to understand that you're going to hear no a fair amount of the time and you need to learn how to deal with that and you need to learn how to overcome that um, you need to know so deeply within you uh, that you need to do this just as much as you need to breathe um, and, and that nothing can 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 take the steering wheel and and and, and do that to your to your uh, hopes and dreams. Um, I think being steadfast and believing in yourself uh, is key, and then continuously educating yourself because the beauty of art is that it's there's no such thing as perfecting it, which means that you uh, you can always get better. And that's a beautiful thing because it allows us to stay growing all the way through and uh, and not stagnate mentally or emotionally. Um, so I, I, I strongly recommend that as well. Um, and then good luck, man. It, it, it's going to take uh, it's going to take everything you got. Um, so just keep giving it. Oh, man. Um, well, anyone who wants to kind of follow along with me, let's start with that and get it out of the way. Uh, you can follow me, Harley Wallen, on, on Facebook. I'm, I'm pretty active on there. Uh, I am on Instagram as official Harley Wallen, uh, and I'm pretty active on there as well. I am on Twitter. Uh, I'm a retired professional fighter, so for some reason I kept uh, Harley the Swede on Twitter. So if you want to follow me there, it may take a week before I respond on Twitter. I will be honest with you. I'm not in love with it. It's uh, it's uh, not a great conversational place. Uh, I am pretty uh, interactive with, you know, fans uh, on all the other places. But uh, yeah, come on and follow me. As far as what else I'm doing, I think, uh, you know, the the, the thing that I like to do is, is because I've made so many style and genre films, I like to just run down the list real quick. So if there's something that you go, ooh, that sounds good, I'd love to see that, uh, then then give it a go. So, so first uh, feature film that we put on the market was Moving Parts, which is right back here. Uh, if you like the usual suspects type of thing, if you like uh, being a, uh, you know, an investigator when you're watching a movie, being a detective and trying to figure out who done it, uh, this is a great, great movie for you. It's the kind of one of those movies that I keep hearing a lot of people say they like it better the second time because they're seeing some of the nuggets that was left where you could have maybe picked it up uh, a little bit sooner, uh, but what I really love, it's one of the movies that very few people would be able to call uh, how it's going to go when you start the film. The next film we did after that was called Enigma. And uh, uh, the, the inspiration for that film when I wrote it was uh, Fallen with uh, Denzel Washington. I really, really liked that movie and it gave me... Uh, something that I really wanted to, to, to play with. So I thought of, of uh, 
of, of an interesting plot that would move in, in that style and feel, and, uh, and that's Enigma. Um, after that, we did uh, what used to be called Into a Dark Mind, and I still love my title better. Uh, eventually, they changed it to Abstruse. Uh, that is still our most awarded film yet. Uh, we have gotten all kinds of awards all over the world for that film. Uh, uh, Tom Sizemore plays the lead as, as Max, uh, and, and he's incredible. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that they see the Tom Sizemore of, you know, his height uh, in that film. And that's probably why we've had so many accolades and so many festival wins. Um, I believe we're at 22 Best Picture Awards at this point. Absolutely crazy. Um, but anyways, that one is a great story about, um, it's almost like if you could think of a prequel to American Psycho, where we kind of get to see somebody unravel and becoming the monster. Uh, that's kind of what Abstruse is. It is, uh, it is uh, falling down the rabbit hole and, and going to a really dirty place and a dark place with, uh, the psycho, um, and 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 then finding a way to stop him. Um, after that, we went the complete 180 and we did Bennett's Song, which is uh, one of my favorite films for so many reasons, but uh, I, I love that they couldn't define the genre. So when we entered film festivals, we won Best Family Film, we won uh, uh, Best Romance, and we won Best Film, and we won Best... Uh, uh, I think it was four different genres, but anything from family to romance, uh, it was really cool to see that they couldn't stick us in, in a box with that film. But if you like a heartwarm uh, story that that uh, that touches uh, all of us when it comes to family and uh, and diversity and uh, and all those type of things, I would give that a go. Um, and then after that, we did Betrayed. Uh, Betrayed was wild for me because I, I'm sitting in church and my pastor saying, um, you know, here's this thing in Michigan, we have so many people that are that are getting trafficked each and every day. And this is how much is happening in our country. And I felt terrible because I didn't even know. So I had to make a movie that kind of touched on it and that that made us think about it. So I placed it in a backyard. I showed the corruption, how easy these things can happen and that film has done incredible uh, all across the world and been dubbed into a bunch of different languages and i think they were in 27 countries now um uh, with john savage uh, uh billy worth uh, uh uh you know richard tyson jan birch like phenomenal cast quite the ensemble tj storm is in there as well uh just an incredible movie but uh, but anyways so that was betrayed after that, we took the stab. We made that horror film called Agramon's Gate. It just came out this year in uh, February. And uh, it, so far, it's been incredible how uh, how popular it's been. We just sold it to Mexico. So I'm looking forward to seeing myself uh, dubbed into Spanish. Um, but yeah, this has been a really, really good ride. This film is kind of everywhere. And uh, it's definitely going like hotcakes. Uh, after that, we did Eternal Code, even though Eternal Code came out before Agramon's Gate. And Eternal Code is, uh, um, uh, I love the, the log line because I really think it tells you the story of the film. But it says, uh, would you kill to live forever? And even though I think the answer is pretty simple for most of us, that we wouldn't be willing to kill somebody else to survive, um, I still think it's a play in our minds uh, to think about, you know, what would we be willing to do? You know, wh wh where do we draw our lines? And that film tests those boundaries as they essentially become capable of downloading the essence of ourselves and then putting that onto a drive of sorts and then placing that into a new body and essentially hijacking it. And that premise has made that film our, our most successful film so far with a really uh, good limited theatrical. Uh, and now same thing with this film just came out last year in the summertime 
uh, early fall and, and it's already in, in over 20 countries. So uh, that that's what I've been up to and that's what you can find. Um, most of the films are all on Vudu. They're all on Amazon. So very easy to find. Uh, and, and, and hard copies of most of them are out there as well. So uh, hopefully that'll be good enough. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it.